What about software? Sometimes you cite software in your methodology. You tell what kind of software you're using. Well, the simple way to do that is to have a name, last name, first name, middle name, a year, the name of the program, the version number of the program, and then use your special information inside your brackets to tell a little bit more, and then the company and the location of the company that released it. Another way you could do this is you could have, again, the name of the maker, the producer, or somehow related to the owner, the year, the title of the program, the description of the program, what is it, and then where did you get it online, for example, because it could be a web program, or it could be something used online, or downloaded from online. So let's look at an example of this. Comprehensive Meta-Analysis, version 2, Computer Software, Inglewood, New Jersey, Biostat. So Biostat is the company that makes it. New Jersey is the location. Inglewood is the city where it's made. Again, how do you find this? This may be inside the manual. It may be online. Something about the company. What is this? It is computer software. It is version 2. And what do we have? Do we have like a, a, a person's name? Do we know somebody? No, in this case, we're just going to use the computer program's name. Comprehensive Meta Analysis. That is the name of the computer program. How about some information that's written and it's unpublished manuscript, for example, with a university cited? So this is an example of what would this be a good example of? This is like at some universities, professors write papers and they don't really publish them, but they put them online and they may be kind of part of ongoing research and you may find this to be interesting or useful for your research. Sometimes it's called a monogram and that's like kind of a paper, but it's not a published paper. So maybe that's possible. Let's take a look at how we would cite that. Maybe you found it somewhere or maybe you were able to find it through Google Scholar. Well, here are the author's names, and then we have the date. Here we have a name of the paper, a five-dimensional measure of drinking motives, and then right here is the key point. What's the journal? There is no journal. It's unpublished manuscript. Unpublished manuscript, meaning that it's not published. It is at the university, though, somehow related to the university, so it's Department of Psychology, University of British Columbia, and what's the location? Vancouver, Canada. So that is a, probably one of the fewer cases you do, but it is possible I have actually done that before myself.